Hello, I'm Tyler, here with Jordan, and welcome to the Tech Check for March 2016. March has always been a busy month, and this March is definitely no exception. St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, and to see how some tech students celebrate this Irish-themed holiday, we go to our local leprechauns, Lily and Evan. I'm Evan Cross, and I'm here with Lily Mugan, and seven days from now is St. Patty's Day, and us leprechauns are curious if St. Clair County Tech is aware of this. Top of the morning to you. Do you know if you're Irish at all? I am not. I am. Yeah, surprisingly. Yes, I do. Do you know how much? No. Yeah, a little bit. Do you know how much? Like 1 20th. <laughs> do you know if like you're Irish at all, maybe? No idea. So do you know anything about like uh, maybe if you're Irish? I'm not Irish, but I don't, and I don't know how they celebrate the holiday either. Um, do you celebrate the holiday at all? Sometimes, but not often. We just eat like a big dinner. No, but my dad gets a shamrock shake from McDonald's. I actually think one of my friends do back in California because he is like Irish and Scottish and what they do is like they stay home and they have a like food. It's kind of like another Thanksgiving for them. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah. My mom makes a, like a huge feast. Okay, well thank you. No problem. <laughs> do you know anything about how the holiday started? No. <laughs> so it started when the patron saint of Ireland died on March 17, seven days from now. Really? I had no idea. I like your enthusiasm, Irish people. I'm Evan Cross, and I'm here with... Mari. So, do you know anything about how this holiday started? No. Nah. Did, you, <laughs> did you know that when the patron saint of Ireland died on March 17th, they made a holiday out of it. That's seven days from now. Isn't that cool? Nah. Do you know if you're Irish? Nah. Do you know anybody who is Irish? Nah. All right. Is there anything that you do to celebrate this holiday? Nah. You're an interesting man. Did you know that, Mari? Yeah. Us leprechauns are offended of the lack of awareness at St. Clair County Tech. Back to the studio with Tyler and Jordan. Wow, that's exciting. And Where's you know, my goal? I what? Wait, what? Where's my gold? Uh, listen, I paid last year. You said you were gonna pay every year. No, I didn't. The debt was no. paid off. Tom told me that if I paid. Tom's my gold, financial manager. Listen, we can't. You can't keep doing this. I want my family back. Big Sal is gonna be mad. Just, I'm coming back for you. Okay then. So let's leave Ireland for a minute and take a trip down to Gotham for one of the most anticipated movies of the month. That movie is, of course, Batman vs. Superman, where we see the two famed heroes duking it out until an even bigger threat arises. We got interviews with several people, including Batman himself, to see who they think will win. As most of us know, the movie Batman and Superman is being released in theaters March 25th, 2016. I'm Batman from DMT, and I will be asking the students of tech who they think they will win, Batman or Superman. Who are you? I'm Nathan. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? Yes, I have. Who do you think is going to win? Probably Superman. Who are you? I'm Jake Lemoyne. Who? Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? I have. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going to have to go with Batman. Who are you? Alicia. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? Yes, I have. Who do you think will win? Batman. <laughs> Who are you? Daniel Lamontagne. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? Yes, I have. Who do you think is going to win? I have to go with Superman. Who are you? I'm Mackenzie. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? Yes. Who do you think will win? Obviously Batman. That's right, there is no other answer. Who are you? Chef Salvatore. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? I have. Who do you think will win? Uh, no offense, Batman, but I don't think you have a chance. You know Superman's a super wuss, right? Uh, I was not aware of that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he runs away every time. He's scared of the dark. Does he run or fly away? He flies. <laughs> it looks like most people have faith in Batman as opposed to Superman. Yeah! Interesting. Don't don't tell anyone, but I, I think neither of them will win. They they both suck. 
Uh, anyways, students have been fighting hard throughout regionals and are now preparing for states. We talked to students about how they feel with states coming up so soon, and they let us know how they're preparing. Hi, I'm Kate Snyder. I'm going to be interviewing people for the future states competition. Have you ever been to states before? No, I have not. Uh, what are you most nervous for when it comes to states weekend? I'm most nervous about everyone just watching you and just being overwhelmed. <laughs> That's just terrifying. All right, moving on to culinary. What are you competing in? Um, I'm actually competing in the culinary arts part. Of the are you excited for that? I'm very excited. See, have you been practicing? We've been practicing a lot. Um, I competed last year too, so I'm like super excited oh, for this. Okay. So you are ready? I'm definitely ready, yeah. Uh, what are you competing in? I'm competing in audio for skills. So have you done audio before? Actually, no. I was uh, asked to compete in the competition. I was originally going to go into television, but the teacher asked me if I would be interested in going to uh, audio for states. So are you best in audio? What are you best in? Uh, I feel really comfortable in all, I guess. I not, no, there's nothing really I feel better in. I just, you know, I just, I guess I feel comfortable in most. So you're ready for this competition? Yeah, I can say about 50% more than anything. So what place or how well do you think you're going to place? I have no clue to be honest with you. You know, everyone wants to go to nationals, but I just hope I do well. So nationals could be in the picture. Moving on to Mr. Kohler. <laughs> this is Mr. Kohler, the lead um, advisor for Skills USA, and I wanted to see what are the few um, programs that you're excited to see. Uh, well, we have nine different programs that are going to be competing at states. Uh, we have 70 students that are going to be uh, going to the competition, and we have everything from cosmetology, uh, welding, metal machining, collision repair. So I like to see all the contests, and uh, I'm able to go around and see what the students are uh, working on. Uh, and I especially like, like the uh, aesthetics contest that's in COS. Uh, they get to do makeup and get to do different types of things with face painting and stuff. So that's really neat to see. Uh, and then, like I said, you know, we get to get to see them all, like the auto program. Uh, they're doing brakes and uh, electrical and uh, new car prep. So all the uh, contests are really neat to see. So we have 70 students this year. What is that like compared to the previous years? Uh, last year we had, I think it was 66 students go, uh, so we have about the same number going this year and we are, you know, like I said, real excited for the students. Uh, we're going to be going there April 8th through the 10th and it's in Grand Rapids, Michigan this year again and we've been there the uh, last three years uh, for, that con for the contest. All right, well thank you for your time, Mr. Kohler. While we're talking about states, let's talk about Michigan, more specifically the results of Michigan's primary election. Michigan took its chance to vote in the primary elections and our state was really feeling the burn, with Bernie Sanders receiving nearly half of the Democratic votes. Our state shows its Democratic tendencies with Hillary Clinton, the second most popular Democrat, still receiving more votes than Donald Trump, the most voted Republican candidate in Michigan. With spring break coming up, Easter is on the minds of few, but our culinary students still show their excitement for this festive holiday. Hi, I'm Audra Falecki, and I'm here with Chef, where he's going to teach us how to properly cook a hard-boiled egg. Hey, Chef, how you doing? I'm doing great today, thank you. So uh, what we have here is um, I have my pot of water going, um, and how I start boiling an egg, and there's other different techniques you can use and methods, but uh, the way I do it is I get my eggs into a pot of cold water uh, right from the tap, put it on the stove, turn it on high, bring it up to a boil. As soon as it reaches a boil, what I do is I set a timer for uh, right around 12 minutes, and then I check the eggs after the 12 minute timer goes off. So we'll take them out, right into an ice bath, with just water and some ice, and just shock them and stop the cooking process. And then I check the eggs after the 12 minute timer goes off. So um, there's, a, there's ways of doing it. The way I like to check my eggs, which is some people think it might be crazy, but it works, seems to work for me, is I take an egg, which these have actually already been uh, hard boiled. So we have some going in the pot uh, here, but we also have some ready to go for us as well. And what I do is I take and I, I spin the egg and I look for something. I look to make sure that it's not going too weeble wobble. And when it slows down, what it's gonna do is it'll spin stationary just like that and that tells me that my yolk is fully cooked and it's solid on the inside because if there was any liquid it would
be moving around when it is spinning slow like that. So that's a little trick that I've learned over the years and uh, seems to work really well for myself. So. And uh, some people say that the color of the yolk determines if your egg is done or not. Is that a myth or is that true? Uh, it's fairly true. The, what you want to look for is making sure that your yolk is yellow. When you see a green ring around your yolk and that's a sign that it has been overcooked. Interesting. Now we have our colors here. We can do a little Easter fun and um, dye some eggs. We can see whose is better, mine or yours. Mine, obviously. But we'll see about that. Um, I doubt it, honestly. So. So we have some colors set up here. Some eggs already hard boiled. Uh, we have a little plate with a rag on it so that we can <laughs> place them onto when we are done with them. So. Do you need the tool? With, is this going to help know. your game I, out or I what? I think that like I don't I don't. I don't you don't need I that need advantage like, there. Okay. I don't know I'll, what I'll color I want to use though. I'll take it. You might want to bend it like a little bit to help you. Oh, see the see, the like, egg expert here is. Like, there you go. Thanks for that one. You're welcome. <laughs> Whose do you think are better? These these are mine. Those, these are Chef's. Well, Chef has the crazier colors, so I'm going to have to give it to Chef, oh. to be completely honest. Is there a trophy Showing. involved in this or what? I don't know. Maybe I, I, we I can make you something. I like showing things, okay? I think, I think okay. winner gets to eat them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you like hard boiled. March is an incredibly hectic month, but we are proud of our tech students for working hard and taking the initiative. I'm Jordan with Tyler, and thank you for joining us on this month's Tech check. See you soon. Who are you? Rochelle. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? I have. Who do you think will win? Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Top of the morning to ya. Have you heard about the Batman Superman movie? Top of the morning to ya. Who do you think will win? Is that all you say? Oh.